In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can easily access and spy on winning dropshipping products and ads. What's going on guys? Yash here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is absolutely having a great week and a great day. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So I do want to keep this video very short to the point and very raw as possible. I want to share with you guys a secret or maybe not so secret to some of you guys tool or strategy that you can actually use to find winning products that are already doing well and the ads to those winning products as well, right? To see what kind of creatives they're using, what kind of ad copy they're using, ad text, really all of the above. So again, I'm going to keep this video very short and very informational. Before we do move on, guys, make sure you guys do join my free Facebook group, Ecom Masterminds. I will be leaving a link to that in the description with all my other social media channels as well so you guys can stay connected with myself and lastly guys please do drop a huge like on this video so the YouTube algorithm can do its thing and really help as many people in the e-commerce dropshipping space as possible and lastly guys make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you guys do stay updated with all new and upcoming content let's jump straight into it guys so First and foremost, guys, what you want to do is go into Google or any web browser, and what you want to basically type in is Facebook Ads Library. Now, Facebook Ads Library always never existed, okay? You'll see in just a second what it really is. It's like a new Facebook feature that just rolled out about six to eight months ago, or maybe even like the past nine to ten months. I think I'm not exactly sure when they rolled out with this feature. What you want to do after is click on Ads Library Facebook. You can also type in, in your URL or your search bar, uh, facebook.com slash or forward slash ads forward slash library, and this will basically pop up. So first and foremost, what you want to do is turn off your ad blocker if you do have an ad blocker. So let's turn that off. And then the first thing or the second thing what you want to do is go to this filter right here and click all. So it basically allows the Facebook ads library tool to show you ads across all over the world because obviously there's not only dropshippers uh, selling products from the U.S. and running ads from the U.S. You know, all over the world people are, you know, consistently posting on Facebook and marketing on Facebook, I should say. So that's that. Now we will jump back to this screen in just a little bit, okay? So first and foremost, what you want to go is go to Facebook and you, go, and you want to go to their search bar. One thing that you can actually do is you can actually type in 50% off. Okay, now this is one of my strategies to find basically winning key products, okay? So you can search these different terms up. Uh, let's just go with 50% off first and kind of see what pops up. You want to search terms like 50% off, free shipping, worldwide shipping, buy one, get one free, because these are key terms that people use in their actual ad copy, okay, or their actual ad text, whatever you really call it. So um, you want to go to videos, and let's just go um, to any date. You know, we don't want to do this week or today or this month, because we essentially want ads that have some sort of traction, that have a few hundred thousand views or at least a few million views because more than likely if you're just starting to run ads you know you probably have one or two ads up probably a few creatives up and you probably don't have a lot of stuff going on because you know you're just kind of in that initial testing phase okay so if we scroll right here we can see that this video right here it has almost 8 million views and this is actually a dropshipping product it's like a do-it-yourself or DIY ukulele I'm actually helping one of my clients uh, test this product right now. And we actually got seven sales in the first two days. So I think this is a product that can still be very consistent and very scalable. But anywho, uh, we see that, you know, they have a video and whatnot and they have almost 12K comments. Uh, so obviously this product is working for them. This ad is working for them. And more than that, they're spending a ton of money on Facebook, okay? Um, to get this sort of engagement, they're obviously constantly, you know, uh, running ads and also kind of scaling their ads and trying new creatives and whatnot as well. So what we want to look is that now, let's say you've done your research, you've done your you know due diligence and your validation on a product. Okay, I'm just kind of looking at one video right now for time sake reasons. By the way, if you want to look at my product research and validation strategy and how I build off of this and validate, you can click on that link right there and it will take you to my exact product research and validation strategy. However, what you want to do is you want to basically copy the name of the store, okay? 
and you want to go back to your ads library and you want to basically make sure that the store basically or the store logo and the name lines up and there we go so creative home living by the way make sure you do filter all and make sure you turn off any ad blockers as well so now we can see all the ads you can see there's over about 140 ads that this specific dropshipping store is running and you can see all of the different ads that these guys are running and they only started to run ads for this product for around April so you can see for this product they're running different creatives so you as a dropshipper or a potential advertiser of this product should be looking at you know what kind of creatives are they using what kind of ad text are they using what kind of hook are they using you know these are all the things that you can basically look at and kind of calibrate and analyze um, you know if you click on add details you'll see that basically this is one campaign and then they have like multiple ad sets you can see what kind of uh, heading and description they're using, what kind of primary text they're using, kind of what's working for them, what's not working for them. You can also go and click on their website to see kind of how they have structured their product page, uh, maybe their offer, their pricing, their funnel. You can really look at their website to your advantage and kind of diagnose what's working for them, what's not working for them. Again, um, where would you go? Oh, right here. So you can see that they're running a few different types of ad copies. Um, but you know more than that this is kind of your 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 job to really look at dropshippers and kind of analyze um, like the do's and don'ts of you know you testing this potential product okay so I think this is a very helpful way and again you can do this for like other stores as well you know let's say you search this product again on Facebook and you find like a whole bunch of other stores that have a lot of engagement you can look uh, you know at how they're basically um, you know promoting or marketing this specific product by inputting their name again um, in the search bar right here of the Facebook ads library tool okay so now let's go to free shipping instead of 50% off this is another keyword I like to use to look at potential products that I like to drop ship so we will go to videos and again we won't touch any filters we'll just kind of you know pick from this because we want again um, basically ads that have been running for some time this one has been running from November 14th 2019 so about six months I would say so let's click on this um, I think I know what product this actually is I think I've seen it yes I have so it's like basically um, if you are traveling or sleeping you can basically listen to your music podcast or audiobook with this like this little um, Bluetooth sort of headband strap so um, just for you guys to see kind of what the product is, right? Let me let me get this video to work for you guys. Okay, so this is what it basically is, right? You can basically connect it, and you can basically um, kind of hear your audio, basically. So again, um, 716 comments, over 4,000 likes. Uh, they probably have a ton of shares and stuff like that too. So this ad obviously has good engagement so now let's type in pro sleep but I'm gonna copy and paste it because it is pretty short so we're basically going to type in pro sleep just how it is basically also make sure that you're basically searching these different pages just like how it appears on the actual ad okay because um, again you want to go on the exact page so again this one has over 30 ads and you can see this one has a more variety of types of ads more creatives different types of creatives um, which is great you know you can see that um, they're heading right here over here it says 50 percent off plus expedited shipping over here it says people love these headphones so you know they're again text testing different types of um, headlines they're testing different types of ad creatives this is like a testimonial ad. This may be actually even a retargeting ad. So you can also see not only how they're running um, their initial cold testing ads, but also kind of their retargeting ads to reach those warmer and hotter audiences too. Um, so again, that's what you can see. This is a whole different type of ad right here, a whole different type of creative. Over here it says pro sleep, and then in the description it says 50% off plus free contact less. Um, need a peaceful sleep yeah so more than likely these are probably some of these are probably retargeting ads more than likely probably um, these testimonial ads and also probably uh, these ads also probably maybe retargeting ads so again so this is 
a very quick and very efficient way to kind of gauge again you can retype this specific product name into Facebook and see you know how many advertisers are selling it you know see if there's a lot of advertisers um, with a lot of engagement on this specific type of product on their on their actual uh, pages so again a very very good way to kind of gauge a lot of people may or may not know of this but I always use this when I'm product researching validating to, to, to see kind of how I can maybe differently market my angle how I can basically um, you know pivot the product differently to kind of approach it to my potential customers right so again you can see different angles see what's working for them see what's not working for them so I think this is a great way and a lot of you guys don't actually know this and I'm actually shocked that Facebook is giving um, this to us for free. I don't know how long it's going to last for or how long they're going to have this active, but you might as well take advantage of it, you know, since they are offering this for the time being. So with that being said, guys, like I said, I want to keep this video very to the point, very short in terms of how to access and how to find winning products and potential, um, you know, kind of winning creatives and products and multiple products even for you guys to test on your dropshipping stores as well. So with that being said, guys, if you have any comments, any questions, any thoughts, um, any concerns drop them below and I always 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 make sure that I try to answer them and other than that guys I'll check you guys out soon and peace